What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys go down below this video and uh, click that subscribe button 15 times or six. Just click it once. Just click the subscribe button one time. That'll be good. For today's video and tomorrow's video, for this video, I am headed up to Red Lake in northern Minnesota. On this trip, we are taking my enclosed trailer up there and we are going to be camping on the lake in my enclosed trailer that I turned into an ice house. We will show you guys that if you did not see that video. We're going to show you the inside of the shack and all that, of course, on this video. But I'm going to head up there. I got about a five hour drive and we will see you guys when we are at Red Lake. Chill, boy. Okay, you guys, well, as you can see behind me, uh, nothing but lake. I have arrived and I am out on red just in time. It is dang near pitch black here. It looks lighter in the camera kind of so this is where we're gonna set up tonight this lake is pretty much a huge bowl there's not too much structure it's uh kind of all the same so my biggest thing was try to get away from everyone else that's fishing out here and any pressure and go in the middle of nowhere so here i am in the middle of nowhere but i just turned the heater on in the trailer and uh, i gotta get the generator started up get everything situated cleaned out uh, holes drilled all that junk so i'm gonna get going on that before it's too dark and then once i get done with that maybe john will be out here we'll get back to you once that's set up or when John is stuck, I'm not sure which is gonna come first, but we will see you soon either way. Oh, good, good. Sheesh, boys, we made it. What's up, bro? I did not think you were making it in that. That's kind of impressive. No, it ain't that bad, dude. I just ripped out here. The old 2,500 got her done. 2,500 got her done. Chill. I didn't think I got the first time, so I had to make sure. <laughs> all right, well, as you can see, John is here, and uh, we got all our stuff in here. It's kind of a mess right now, but since you guys saw it last, I put a futon in the front. Um, everything that you guys saw, I think you saw pretty much all this. So the only thing new is the futon and all our fishing gear in here. So I got a little spot to hang the auger, just some stuff to organize everything. We got all our clothes and stuff hanging there. And as you know, we got all the cooking stuff up front. That's the little charging station up there that's just a mess of wires and cords everywhere. But hey, it'll charge our stuff, so that's all that matters. Then, the only other thing I did, so before I was telling you guys how high the trailer was off the ice, I didn't know if I wanted to do skirts or how I was gonna bank it in, because obviously this trailer does not crank down. But what I did, is I jerry-rigged two whole sleeves together and then I cut the lip off the one obviously so it fits in there nice and this fits perfectly touching the ice to the top of the trailer so we got a far grab uh, if we catch a fish here it's gonna be a deep hole to reach in but hey it works and there is no wind getting through these things the trailer right now is not even banked in it's just literally pulled on the ice and still hooked to my truck and there's like no wind coming through these holes so we're gonna get these things back in. Uh, we got one hole drilled and then the battery on the auger died cause I'm kind of dumb and didn't charge it today. That's charged now. We're gonna drill the rest of these holes and start fishing. It's about 6.30 right now and we're ready to go. Oh, also I tried like epoxying these but the edges on the sleeves were so sharp that that didn't work. So if you wanna do this, I was like thinking of what's strong then I remembered that commercial. You know the commercial. Flex tape, baby. This is flex tape. This ain't going nowhere. All right, but anyways, we're going to drill holes, and we're going to fish. Good. It ain't no Milwaukee, but it'll do. Crocky Which here. pool? No, no. Okay, wait, wait. Which pool? Just wait. Just wait. On, on, right there, yep. Dude, Does he have it's it? a big mark. Does he yeah. have it? I, I don't know, but it's a big mark. Yeah. It's a big mark. Oh, dude, oh, dude. I'm going to reel up, I'm going to reel up. Reel up. Yep. Luke's got a big one on. I'm gonna try to land it for him. I think it. the hook set was big. Yeah, it, the mark looked big on there. This is the first time we're ever gonna land a oh, fish dude, here, dude. boys. Hang on. It came off? Yes. Oh, dude! What? Did it snap? It was a crappie, bro. That was a crappie, bro. No, it, that was big, dude. I saw the mark and it oh was my, giant. Oh, I know. So it looked like a dinner plate, and then all of a sudden it got the body of a walleye. And this is a dude. That's a heavy oh, rod. God. This thing was this thing was bent like that's that. That's a heavy rod, dude. All right. Well, 
that sucked, but my line's back set up. I'm back down there, and we've been marking a ton of fish, so hopefully we can hook into something else like that, because that fish was massive, and after I looked at the footage, it looked like that fish got to the bottom of the hole, and my hook actually hooked the ice, and then I snapped the line when I yanked on it, but the fish was gone anyways. So either way, I was screwed, but we're back down there. I hope we can catch something else that big, because that was a nice fish. All right, well, we're getting hungry, so... I'm gonna whip up some pizza rolls and uh, test this toaster oven out, see if I blow any fuses, start anything on fire. You know, we're gonna try this thing out. But I do have this. I probably shall get this out. Freeze, freeze! Well, John just said it would be lit if we started something on fire, but that would not. Well, it would like literally be lit, but. Yeah, I thought I had beers, and then I got here, and there was no beers. Ooh, good, Bucky, good. All right, well, I didn't have to use the old fire extinguisher, but the pizza rolls are done. Nobody's hooked into another fish yet. There has been literally no action since then, so I'm kind of ticked off still that I lost that, but it happens. But we're going to eat these pizza rolls, then we're going to catch a 30-incher. I did just see a fish roll by. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I feel something, yep. Got him. Got it? Yep. Feels like a walleye. Sheesh, look at that. First fish of the night and the first fish ever Dude, how landed. Dang, you're gonna catch the first fish <laughs> I'm in sorry, the bro. Dude, that's perfect. Right in the schnoz right there. Dang, John just pulled the first fish up in my shack in the new trailer. I don't know if that's good luck or bad luck. I don't know. Either way, we got our first fish. It's been pretty slow for like probably 20 minutes, but we've still been seeing fish. And John just pulled up the first one on the rattle reel. So let's, I'm not gonna say let's go because I say that way too much. Ugh! Yeah, baby, yeah! Sorry. Oh! Now my drag's no, too loose. Fudge, bro. Dude, this spot that I came out to, like, when I just went in the middle of nowhere, like, we're doing insane right now. <laughs> There's so many fish here. Bro, we literally, this is insane right now, Luke. We can't keep a freaking rod down. Let me grab him. You got it. It's not that big. Luke's hooked up, boys. I'm gonna flip him. Woo! First fish, buddy. All right. First fish in my shack, and let's just say she's a beast. I finally pulled one through the ice, though. God dang it, dude. I literally cannot eat my pizza roll, boys. It's ripping. Oh my dude. Go, go, it's go. I waited too long. What the <laughs> heck? Dude? It was spooling me, boys. Okay, well, I just kept my bobber. There's another fish. There's another fish. I just pulled my line out because I wanted to eat a couple pizza rolls, and this is insane. But these are cold now, so that's good. Oh, it did follow you. Oh, dude, it's coming back. Oh, what? How do you not have that, dude? Here we go. Here we go. Hold up. I'm going to see if I can double. Oh, there's one on me, too. Oh, mine went away. Oh! Dude, that's a good one! Not bad. At all. Alright, that's a little better than the first fish I caught. Put them on the old bump board. Pinch them. Eighteen and a half. Alright, eighteen and a half. That's a good over to keep. That puts us at, what do we have, one under that we kept and yep. one over now? Yep. So. Second keeper of the night, and uh, it's only about, I don't know, a little after 8 o'clock, like 8.30 maybe, but the action's been pretty decent here, honestly. Watch your feet! <laughs> I got zombies chasing me and sh bro. All right, we've been ripping some uh, cod here. John's rattle reel's going off, finally. I don't know if he's... Got him. Little. A little guy. Oh, there he goes. You're tiny. See you later. Okay, bye. He was like the size of my. Boy. 
Okay, maybe a little bigger. Oh, oh. Yeah. It's, it, That's coming right at me, dude. It's on you. It's all over you. Oh, dude, it's got it. It's got it? Yeah, ready? Yep. Nice. Ooh, it's decent. Is it good? It's decent. It's not tiny. Oh, is he wrapped up in that? I don't know. You got another one. Oh, it's not okay. Got it. Another one, and John's about to be hooked up, I think. Yep, he's running with it. I'll get this guy away. All right, well, that was kind of nice to have a couple fish come in. It has been slow for probably an hour, or we missed the fish because we've just been playing video games. I'm not sure, but those are the first few fish we saw in a while now, so it was nice to pull something through the ice, that's for sure. There's some on it. You've definitely had that fish forever, bro. How long has that been hooked, bro? Well, I don't know, because why wouldn't I have pulled my line in? Though? What the heck, bro? It's an under. It's a nice fish. Oh, well, that was kind of funny. I literally just pulled that smaller one up. John missed one on the rattle reel, and this thing, I had my line alarm set, but I must have not had the contact touching or something was going on because it didn't go off. But this thing was on my rod. I saw my rod moving. John's like, how have you not had one? Like, how's your line alarm not went off? Well, I don't know how, but there was a fish on it. Okay, this one uh, kind of got hooked in the gill, so we're going to keep it. But it looks like a good under, so I'm not complaining about that. But we're going to hit this on the bump board and make sure. Perfect. 16 and a half. Uh, seven, anything under 17 is an under here on Red Lake. You could have one over 17. So I do have my one over and two unders now. So another nice fish. Okay, well, as you heard, we had a wind switch and I almost just ripped the door completely off the trailer and flew it like six counties over. But luckily it's still attached. No cap, I need your help really bad right now. With what? Can you crack my back if I lay down? Ooh, let me crack your back. Boy, stop <laughs> it. Breathe out. Oh, yes, that was the one. Ooh, look at that hook set. Sheesh. This is a nicer one. Okay. You might have to grab this. I shall grab it. I don't want to chuck you, though. Yeah, just like... Oh, let him run. Oh, what the heck? Nice fish, Luke. It's a good fish, bro. Trailer or straight behind us because my dude's just like this. All right. That's another nice one. That's another over, probably 21, something like that. For sure a 20-incher, but I already got my over, so... We're gonna dump this guy back in. We still have like three days on the ice here, so this guy can go back in the water and live to get a little fatter. But this is a pretty thick boy. Oh yeah, 19. I was way off with the 21, but we're gonna get this guy back in. See ya. down to the resource buddy see ya back this down the 40 foot tube baby right out <laughs> oh my god that scared the hell out of me jr's what are you feeding these things boy these are about as big as the walleyes we catch in the night roids this thing is huge bro your minnow is roid raging <laughs> Your line's moving, your line's moving, your oh, line is moving. I'm aware. Your line I'm is aware. moving. I'm aware. Whoa, chill out with that noise. Yeah, old son. Get him, Luke. Have a good life. I hope you find your dad. It was, uh... I did a quick eyeball measurement and it was 13 and three quarter. Oop. That's why. Did you tie this?
Nope. Yeah, that was me. Sorry to let you guys down. I won't let it happen again. Well, well, John's uh, in here playing with fish. You guys are gonna come out with me, and we're gonna do some generator maintenance. Just kidding, it's not maintenance. We're filling the generator with gas, and it's freaking cold and windy, and I want you guys to come with me and see how miserable this is. All right, it's dark as crap out here. Y'all can't see anything. Okay, we need to go back inside. Lino alarm fish? Mm. <laughs> what did I just say? Are you serious? What did I just say? That was on camera. Bro, that was on camera. What did I just say, dude? I just called that. Bro, you did. No way. I just called that. All right, well, we just had uh, a fish roll in on the live scope, and it kind of dipped off towards our reels over on this side of the shack. And John, as you heard, was like, line alarm fish? Instantly the freaking line alarm goes off. That was hilarious. But it's just a little guy, so we're gonna get him back. And we'll see him later, maybe. There see you. Goes. Are you? Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just get eat? Yeah, what the heck, dude? <laughs> what the heck just happened? I thought he was froze on the sleeve. No, bro, you got murked, dude. Apparently. Well, I missed a fish, and then it's it, not bad. it came it's back. Not bad. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to land this. Hold on, guys. Some light down here is so nice. I know. Yeah, that's a good. Oh, that's a good under. It's not bad. It's not bad. It had to have been. Yeah. Well, Luke caught a fish because I am terrible at fishing, but he smacked it. Had hooked on. And then, all right, well, we just banked the whole shack in and we're about to go to bed, but I just laid down on this couch back here that if you watch my other video when we made this, we cut the armrests off of it. This thing's massive, baby. This is going to be comfortable. I just want to show you guys that because I figured you'd be excited for me because I'm going to get a good night's sleep. Meanwhile, John's going to be over here on a brick of a futon. Check this out. Boy! You making fun of me? No. Alright, that's better than the floor though. Like, I bought this just for John to sleep on, by the way. I'm not gonna lie, on a scale of 1 to 10 of comfortability, it's probably rocking a good, like, 4.2. Really? It's that bad? It's pretty clapped, bro. You lay on the couch once. Oh, Test that okay. one out. Oh, GG. Yeah, dude, dude that thing oh. is comfy. Yeah, this is a futon for sure. Alright, John, the review's done. Get out. Okay, well, the review's <laughs> over. And we're gonna go to bed. Whatever he just did. We're going to get some sleep, and we'll see you in the middle of the night if anything goes off. Otherwise, we'll see you in the morning. Stay tuned. Woo! See ya! All right, well, it is morning time. Last night was pretty slow, other than John had a rattle reel go off. John had one on the fish alarm. I think he missed one oh, on no, the rattle no, reel. No. Okay, no one caught anything. But we're going to make some coffee and maybe some breakfast and get this morning started. All right, on this episode of What Did We Do to the Shack, we disassembled the futon because John got about two hours of sleep and it was absolutely uncomfortable and I did lay on it last night and confirm that. And it was taking up a bunch of room. I couldn't access any of the shelves in the front or underneath and it was blocking the furnace a little bit. So all around, futon right there, horrible, horrible idea. But we had to test it out to make sure. If anyone needs a futon, comment down below. I got a futon for you. But don't hit me with no low balls because I know what I got. That's what I'm talking about. You know what that looks like? I'm gonna be using the bathroom. Yup, that's still hot. Well, it's kind of ripped up, so. These things, gas. Can you get my camera? <laughs> what just happened? I don't even know. There's a fish. That's all I know. Ooh. All right, well, I was sitting here editing. John's been on TikTok for four hours. All of a sudden, I looked at my line, and it was tight. My bobber's down the hole. 16 and a half. I don't know about y'all, but to me, that looks like an eater. Ooh, the fishing's slow, and this sucks. 
John just clapped me in that game. Perch, maybe? Nope. Oh, yeah. A nice perch. Not bad. John was just looking at a ton of perch on the live scope, and the old line alarm went off. That's my first perch of the trip. John caught a monster last night when I was sleeping. That's why you guys didn't see it, but I haven't seen the video yet either, but he said it was big. Boy, what is this man's doing? <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Alright, that's embarrassing. Alright, dude, I can't watch this anymore. My line is frozen, dude. I think he has it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it does, I do. Oh, yeah, dude. Well, I'll just start to film an intro and Luke's already hooked up. It's a decent size for sure. I think so. Oh, it is, dude. Really? Yeah. You might have to grab it. Want me to grab it? You yeah. could, but. Yeah, you can see his head though, so it's Sheesh. not bad, dude. Not bad, baby. Look at that, bro. We were literally just to start filming again, or I was gonna film like an intro, and Luke, I'm like, Luke, there's something on your minnow. I looked on the live scope, and bam! Look that's how a, white, look how white that. Yeah, tip that's is. a big one, dude. Yeah, here's your fish. John let me know he was there. Picked my rod up, and as soon as I touched it, I could feel there was a fish on it, and we got another nice Red Lake walleye. That's at least 20. Oh, yeah. That's at least 20. We'll hit him with the bump here. My bad. 19 and a half. 19 and a half. Nice fish, though. There he goes. Okay, everyone. Well, it is freaking cold out here. So last night, it was like 15 to 20 degrees most of the night. And overnight last night, it actually dropped temps. And all day today has been single digit temps. And tonight is supposed to get down to negative two. So we're going to get everything put away and buttoned up here before dark because that's when it's going to get terribly cold. But thank you guys for checking out this video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys click that subscribe button down below this video. Like the video and we will see you on the next one. See ya!